Hi guys, how's you all doing? Hope you're all well and hope you're all blessed. Join me tonight on my live at 7 o'clock to discuss the corruption within Embra, Sockton Prison. Um, I've currently got a friend that's been incarcerated in Sockton and he tells me there have been over 47 uh, assaults on staff and other prisoners. The spice pandemonial is hitting through the roofs. The death rate is fantastic. Oh, it's gone right out. You know what I mean? But they're covering it up by saying it's other underlying deaths. If you know what I mean. I don't want to say the word. Get my channel shut down. But I think Sockton need to explain themselves on the situation. The people on 23 hour dub ups and as I say, the drug spice pandemonial is out of the roof. So who runs our prisons? Is it the officers or is it the cons and the mental health? What do you think? Join me tonight and we'll have a discussion all about it. Now you've got to remember people, during the lockup, Sockland says there were 600 deaths in, within their prison and it was all due to that. No, it wasn't. It, it was drug overdoses and, and fighting. And, but as I say, that's what we're going to do. We're going to expose Sockland for the way they are you know, and the, the way they like to treat our people, you've got to remember this is our family and friends that are actually in their prisons, you know what I mean, and are putting up with these unhumane conditions. As I say, 23 you are double, that's that's not right, that's not right at all. You've got other prisons all over Scotland and that have got showers, they've got playstations, they've got this, but why is Sockton so stuck in the Victorian days and why is things moving changed and why are they covering up their lies by saying it's death's duty certain things when it's no, it's a drug pandemonial that's going on in Sockton just now and that's HMP Edinburgh <laughs> but as I say we all know it's got uh, Sockton yeah and it's just sad you know what I mean because you've got officers, governors, people for justice system all covering up the corruption and the lies that's gone on within the, our prison system you know what I mean we've got a first minister whose brother-in-law was allegedly arrested for drug offences then he claimed to know nothing about all this now I find that very very strange and I don't believe one fucking minute of his word that comes out the end of their mouth and how can you trust a government that you're sitting in just now when we've got all this going on you know what I mean people locked in prisons you know what I mean yeah they're in there fair play right they are committed crimes they should be punished but treated like dogs treated like animals no getting medication, their own medication for like pain relief or whatever on the outside, but as soon as they get into the jail, they get all, it all gets cut off. And we wonder, and we, we're sitting here wondering why the inmates are taking their own lives, they're not getting looked after right. And it's fact, you know what I mean? Because you've got all these fake Dazzy pans and all the phenytoil crisis and Twazzy pan, all that kind of crap running through all the drugs in. So the doctors don't know what to give or how to treat it. You know what I mean? But yet they still persist in sending these people to prison when you've got people doing 30, 20 years. They don't want to see people like that coming in every day of the week. You know what I mean? It's quite sad to see this and you know what I mean? And the people that's in there and suffering this abuse, you know what I mean? Is is just quite daunting itself, to be honest with you, you know what I mean? Um in twenty twenty four, you know what I mean, when you've got all other prisons all over Scotland, you know what I mean? Set me PlayStation, set me showers, set, you know what I mean, set me everything, you know I mean? But, as I say folks, join me tonight on my live and we'll discuss more, you know what I mean? And we need to stand up and start fighting for the, the rights of prisoners, you know what I mean? Um, people that suffer from mental health is getting sent to prison. They shouldn't be in prison, they should be in a, they should be in a locked up psychiatric ward where they're getting proper treated. And as I say, just the, the the lies and the seediness that goes on within it, they've always got an excuse for other things, you know what I mean? I'm pissed off, I mean, a man I'm really pissed off with it, for the simple fact is, I was an ex-prisoner at one time, but now, you know what I mean, it was bad back then, but still to hear it in 2024 is unreal, you know what I mean? Yeah, they're in there because they committed a crime, fair play, you know what I mean? But the end of the day, could be one of your family, you know what I mean? And the rules, we, the government, be the 
the situation where they've got in interdiction and like family courts and all that stuff and that, but yet the men always seem to get the blame for the women's action. And you know, I mean, men's rights need to actually get looked at and be um, readjusted for some of what it does. Men are getting sent back to jail for stupid things, lies, corruption, and, and just basically, you know what I mean, because they've been a known figure in the past, they think they can still build their way, be recalling them back to prison. That's no, you know what I mean, that's no building trust. How are you meant to trust the government, you know what I mean, when they're acting like that, you know what I mean? So as I say, guys, please join, uh, join me tonight at 7 o'clock live, you know what I mean? And... As I say, let's start talking about it. And a big shout out to Flacco, that was on the chat the other night, uh, the live the other night there, uh, for Spain. We're just getting that all sorted out. So the person that keeps saying to me, when's chat, Flacco coming on mention, you know, you get a grip, mate, eh? You know what I mean? And a big shout out to Paul Venice, you know, well done on your your fight, eh? But people didn't understand this. Things like that need to get promoted, so you've got to cause drama, you know what I mean? But anyway, that's another subject. Let's take the corruption and let's get it sorted, okay? What's up?